Welcome to how, to how to Solve Titration Problems. With titration problem, most of the time you're going to get a question that's with an acid and a base mixing together, where what is the molarity of a sodium hydroxide solution if 48 milliliters neutralizes 35 milliliters of a 0.144 molar sulfuric acid solution? So what I like to do is first just write out what I have, right? So we have 35 milliliters of sulfuric acid, which is 0.035 liters with a concentration of 0.144 molar. We also have the sodium hydroxide at 48 milliliters, which is 0.048 liters. And what we're really solving for is the molarity of that sodium hydroxide solution. So the first thing in any of these problems, step one, is to write the balanced equation, where we know we are mixing sodium hydroxide, which is going to be aqueous, and we're reacting that with sulfuric acid, H2SO4, as the problem describes. Now, anytime we mix a acid in a base, we're going to produce a salt plus water. The salt here is going to come from the sodium ion and the sulfate anion, meaning that we get Na2SO4, which is going to be aqueous. And our other product is going to be H2O as a liquid. So we need to then balance this equation, and when we balance it, we need a 2 in front of the H2O, and we need a 2 in front of the sodium hydroxide. This gives us a balanced molecular equation. So step two would be to find the moles of both reactants. And so when we think about that, we know molarity is equal to moles divided by liters. And what we're given for sulfuric acid is that we have a 0 0.144 molar solution of sulfuric acid. We're going to be looking for the moles of sulfuric acid. And what we do know is that in the solution it took 0.035 liters. We can then multiply the liters times the molarity to solve for the number of moles, where we get x is equal to 0.00504 moles of sulfuric acid. Well, then we also need to find the moles of sodium hydroxide, which in that case, we can use these moles of sulfuric acid and the balanced molecular equation to convert from moles of sulfuric acid to moles of sodium hydroxide. And so when we set that up, we put our moles of sulfuric acid on the bottom from the balanced equation, which tells us one mole of H2SO4. There are two moles of NaOH. Now, once again, that comes from the two moles of NaOH for every one mole of sulfuric acid. So once we have that, they can solve for that, which gives us that we have 0 0.01008 moles of NaOH. Lastly, we need to solve for the molarity of that sodium hydroxide solution. So once again, we can go back to molarity is equal to moles over liters. We now know the moles of NaOH. And we're told how much we're dividing by, which is the liters of the sodium hydroxide solution, which was given to us, 0 0.048 liters. And then we can solve for this, which we end up with 0 0.210 molar NaOH. And that concludes how to solve titration problems.